What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Mom. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the spare tire from a Chevy Suburban. This is a 2005 model here, but it will be the same on a few different years. This will also be the same on the GMC Yukon XL. So the spare tire is going to be located up underneath the rear of the vehicle, as you can see right there. But in order to get it out, we need to remove some tools out of the back. So if we open the back hatch, and then take a look to our left on the driver's side. We'll see these two pan these two little cubbies right here. And the one that has these markings on it, the one that's closer to the rear, we're gonna grab it like that and just pull it right out. And after you pull it out, if we look down in here, um, we need to get this tool pouch out right here. The tools that we need to get the spare tire down are in there. And in order to get that off, you'll just loosen this nut right here this wing nut so loosen that all the way to the left and then the tools will come out and the jack is located right here in order to get that out you'll just loosen it um, using this yellow knob right here and once you loosen it a little bit and it comes down you can just go ahead and pull it right out so i'm going to go ahead and get that tool pouch out of there and i'll see you in the back of the vehicle for the next shot Okay, so we got our tools out that we looked at in the previous shot. We're gonna set those to the side for just a second. And for this next part, you're gonna need your key. And if you look to the right of the license plate, we're gonna see this, uh, this little door right here. Once you open that, you'll see a key cylinder in there. You're gonna put your key in there and turn it to the right or clockwise. And then that whole cylinder is, will slide out. If you haven't had this out in a while, when you first start turning it, you may have to wiggle it as some dirt and stuff can get around that. But anyway, once you get that out, put that to the side. Now, if we take a look at these tools, if you empty this pouch, there's gonna be four pieces in there. One of the pieces kind of has this little hook piece on it. Um, that's gonna be for the jack, and we can just go ahead and set that to the side. Then we're gonna have two long ones in the handle, or two straight ones, I should say. So the piece we need to put in first between these is the flared end. You'll see one has a pin in it and then the other end has like a flared end like that. That's the one that we need to put in first. Then we'll grab the second piece and just line it up so that pin, or rather the flared end goes over that pin and it'll lock in like that. Then you'll kind of feel it. Once you get it in there, you'll kind of feel it hook onto that nut. So get it on there and then we're gonna take the jack handle to put on here. And one thing I wanted to point out, make sure you put it this way with this part pointing back rather than like this. That way as you're turning it, you won't hit your bumper. So slide that on there like that. And then we're just gonna spin it to the left or counterclockwise. And as you do that, the tire will come down. Once it hits the ground, you'll feel, you'll feel it get lighter. Just crank it just a little bit more just to give yourself some slack. Okay. Now if we take a look under here. All right, so we're taking a closer look at the tire now. And in order to get the stop out that's holding it up, lift the tire up like that. We'll see this piece. We need to press this button. Press this button and that allows this piece to come up. Clear it just like that. And then you kind of need to tip this piece up and just feed it through here like that. Feed the whole thing through there. And then you can get that out of your way and pull the tire out. And that's pretty much it. I mean, to, uh, to get it back up, you reverse everything we just did. Put that stop down in the center. Um, and this time, once you, get, you will crank it to the right to crank it back up. But one thing I do wanna point out here is once you get it all cranked up and you need to put your cylinder back in, if you notice on the cylinder, there's a little ridge like that, that's gonna go on the top when you slide it in. That'll just help you line that up on the top and that's gonna allow that to slide in. It only slides in one way and then that's pretty much it. I obviously need to come back and put all this together, but if you have any questions, let me know. If you
you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it.